They should have been the passport to one of the most hyped events in pop history. Tickets designed by the performer himself. But even these remnants of the Jackson legacy are now generating their own controversy. Fans who secured a place at the This Is It series have been offered full refunds, but there's also an alternative on the table. They can have the ticket as a souvenir, but only if they pay the full price. I like him, but not for, not for that price. <laughs> Michael Jackson is a legend. I want the, I want the ticket of uh, Michael, uh, Michael Jackson's show. As it goes, my brother has three tickets, and uh, I've actually told him to keep two and sell one off on eBay. So it's money back and no piece of Jacko memorabilia or pay between 50 and 75 quid for the keepsake. Some reckon that doesn't sit well with the promoter's pledge to honour the fans the star loved. AEG will have plunged millions into the O2 Arena events and the offer may help recoup some of that. From the consumer's point of view, you need to look at it as two separate contracts. The first contract has been frustrated, um, cannot now take place, and you're entitled to a refund on that basis. If you then want to, in effect, take that refund money and use it to enter into a separate contract for the souvenir tickets, then you're at liberty to do that if you want to, but you're not obliged to. For many Jackson loyalists, the souvenirs will prove irresistible. But those who balk at the sums involved might do well to view the tickets as an investment. Sales of t-shirts, magazines, autographs and records are booming. These keepsakes could offer their own return. I think there are a lot of them out there in this instance. Um, but it, it does mark um, a tragic event. So I think it will always have a value. Whether it will hold its value or go even more in the future, only time will tell. Whether it's Elvis, Lennon or Jackson, the harsh reality is that items become more valuable in death, both emotionally and financially. Fans will have to decide whether they want to cherish the memories or their bank balances. Michelle Clifford, Sky News.